Georgia and entrepreneurship. Where do we lead? Where do we it's lag? The best where do place in the go? world, man. It's the best <laughs> kept secret. I won't argue with that. Uh huh. So uh, you know, I, you know, I I moved to Atlanta 20 years ago, right? And you know, and a lot of options, you know, uh, to uh, go to Silicon Valley, go to other places. What I tell people is, like, you know, Atlanta has got the best talent, the best. Yeah, you know, if you look at an overall lifestyle, it's the best place to raise your kids. You got the great environment, affordable living, uh, and the, the amazing level of talent, like our school systems. I think we are on par, if not better, than Stanford and other universities out here. So it's the best kept secret. That's one of our problems. I'm back and forth to the West Coast once a month. I landed uh, again yesterday. And the thing that I think is the biggest testament is when I'm over there and you're talking to investors, some of the top investors in the world, uh, 10 years ago, they used to say, when you walk into a meeting, they used to say, oh, you're in Atlanta. Uh, you guys, would, would you be open to moving? <laughs> and, and nowadays, it's a different look on the face. It's like, oh, you guys are in Atlanta? Oh, yeah, I hear there's a lot of talent there. And so I think the, the world is starting to notice and, and the, the talent that we have here in town and the ability to kind of stay in and focused and build a meaningful company. Uh, you know, investors, money can just be wired across the world. So money can move easily, but the community and the people that we have here is something that's important. Uh, it's something that we, we need to just build up more and have more people understand what's going on. I think people in Atlanta and in Georgia are very forward thinking. They want to go change the world. They want to make a difference and they want to do it in a way that balances both life and work. So Georgia is the best place in the country for startups, for grown-ups. If I want to hire 100, 200, 300 people in Atlanta, you got the talent. Right? You can't do that in the valley. Valley just is not possible. The only way you can do that in the valley is you buy other startups, kill their product, and use those employees, and you lock them up for four years, <laughs> which is what Yahoo is doing. Right? I think Atlanta is uniquely suited as a city to bootstrap startups. We talked about the low cost of living, we talked about the can-do attitude, we talked about the great access to talent, and Atlanta is one of the unique cities that has all the ingredients to build a really meaningful, successful company and to do it in a very capital efficient manner. Right? So if you're going to Boston or New York, you're going out west, you're paying two to three times the same as what it would take to do it here in Atlanta and we have access to the talent. So in Atlanta you absolutely can raise money but the caveat is that you have to have a working product with paying customers. You don't have to have millions of dollars of revenue but you have to have a working product with paying customers that tell the investor just how much they love your product. So there's money here, entrepreneurs are being successful, and they're doing it in a much more lean approach than out west. Now you can build any company in any sector from Atlanta. Okay. What we are is we are you know, really inhibited by our culture of conservative and politeness that you have in the south. No one likes to brag around, right? Uh, if you look at the other ecosystems, they are actually like to brag a lot more, including Silicon Valley right, or San Francisco. They love to talk about themselves, right? We do a very poor job of that. Uh, the other thing that we don't do a good enough job is, you know, uh, we don't take risk in crazy ideas, the moonshots, right? That again comes back to our inherent Southern culture of, you know, being cautious and, and doing it. But it's, you know, if you can break open some of those small areas, there are a lot of great things that I've accomplished. In the 20 years that I've been here, uh, you know, even with David's now Atlanta Tech Village, which I'm very excited about, I think we have a, creator, a great platform for entrepreneurs. Anyone who wants to be an entrepreneur has got way more resources here and probably better resources than anywhere in the world to get all the help they need, right? We just had to change a little bit of the culture to start taking a little bit more risk in, in moonshots. And that's, I think, it's a, it's a big driver and, and a little bit more capital to support that. I just came back yesterday from uh, TechCrunch, uh, one of the largest startup events in the country. And uh, we launched a new hardware company, uh, a consumer hardware, consumer robotics company, uh, which is something that you know, isn't typical in Atlanta. Uh, but there are two uh, young guys from tech, one a mechanical engineer, 
uh, one a, a, a computer engineer that built uh, a, a robotic bartender. Uh, a robotic bartender, it's, it's interesting, right? People spend $100 billion a year on social drinking. And that space just haven't, hasn't been uh, innovated in centuries. And so these guys had this brilliant idea. Uh, they built it. We went to the biggest stage in technology. Uh, they, they rocked it. Uh, someone who's new to this community, new to this area, or just new to being a tech entrepreneur, what, what would you say the essential things are for them to do to get connected to the community that we have here? And what are the key resources and how do they access them in order to become established, find support, and build their business? Yeah, great question. So the simple answer, the short answer is just show up. So Atlanta and Georgia have a number of startup and technology events going on. Across the, seat, the street at ATDC, there's one to two events per week going on for entrepreneurs. If you go up the road six miles to the Atlanta Tech Village, we've been averaging six events a week for the past six months. We've had over 10,000 people come through the Tech Village for different events in the past six months. So there's a number of great things going on. There's a number of strong mentors and investors and entrepreneurs. There's a number of service providers that are more than willing to, ha more than willing to help out and pay it forward. So I think Georgia is very inclusive from a technology and startup community. And the number of events going on across the city make it so that you can literally go to a different tech or startup event seven days a week. It's that active. So the simple short answer is just show up and start meeting people, start engaging with the community, start looking for ways to help out other entrepreneurs, and in return, there's a wealth of people who are willing to help you out.